Welcome to Electron Online. Now to get used to the mechanics of taking partial derivatives, we're going to do a set of examples. Here's our first set. We're going to take the partial derivative with respect to x and then the partial derivative with respect to y. Notice that both of these functions are dependent on both the variables x and y. So the partial of the function with respect to x is equal to, notice that in this case y to the 4 becomes a constant, so the derivative of a constant is 0. And here notice that only x is a variable, 5 and y remain as the constant, so we get 5 times y and the derivative of x with respect to x is simply 1. The partial of the function with respect to y is equal to, now notice that here we, this we get 4y cubed plus, and here 5x become the constant, y is a variable, and that gives us 5 times x, and the derivative of y with respect to y is equal to 1. On the second function, again we're going to take the derivative of f, with respect to x, and I should say partial derivative, because it's different of course, and here we have x is the variable, 5 and y cubed are the constants, so we take the derivative of x to the fourth, which is 4x cubed, 4 times 5 is 20, x to the third power, and y to the third power remains the same because that's considered a constant in this case. On the second term, again x is the variable, 2 times 3 is 6, x to the second power times y because y is also a constant here. Now let's take the partial derivative of the function with respect to y. The partial of f with respect to y is equal to, notice that this now becomes the variable, this is the constant, so we have 3 times 5 which is 15, x to the fourth remains the same, y squared minus, again here that y is a variable, 2x cubed is a constant, so it's minus 2x cubed, the derivative of y with respect to y is equal to 1, and there's the partial derivative. So it takes a little getting used to, but they're actually easier than the regular derivatives because you could call the other variables constants. Also notice what I did here was I simply realized I was going to take the derivative of x to the fourth, I get 4 times 5 is 20, x to the exponent minus 1, and y cubed remains the same because that's a constant. It's easier to write that. So you can see that taking partial derivatives is actually easier than taking regular derivatives because you keep one of the variables constant. And that's how we do that.